Welcome to the Radio Server Song Chart Tutorial. After you've uploaded your plugin and activated it, you'll find in your WordPress dashboard a new section called RS Song Chart. This is our plugin. It's very simple to add a song or to edit a song, but first let's take a look at the front end. When the plugin is activated and songs are listed, you'll find a chart that looks like this on a dedicated page of your site. If we take a look at the top song, we'll see that it's ranked number one. It hasn't moved in the past week, either up or down. If it did, there would be a green up arrow or a red down arrow in this box here. We have the cover art, a link to the artist's website, of course all the data about the song, a place where you can listen to the hook, a place where you can launch the video from YouTube, a place where you can buy the uh, song on Amazon as well as on iTunes, and a place for your users to rate the song with a five-star rating system. If you have multiple songs listed, of course, those will cascade down the page. On this demo, we're also showing you two special widgets that are available in the plugin. The first is a sidebar widget for the top number of songs that you wish to display. Now, we only have four songs in the demo, so there's only four of the ten listed here, but you can display your top songs anywhere you like on the site that way. There's another widget that we have here with a spotlight song. In this case, you choose only one song out of your database to be featured in a sidebar widget. And within that song, you of course can play a sample and play the video. Let's go back to the uh, admin side and let's just add a song to show you how that works. First, you want to type in the song name. And of course, if you want the song to be inactive, you can put it in the archive for use later if you're working ahead or if you no longer wish to have a song active. In this case, we'll make it active by default. You upload your MP3 hook, which I've already uh, created here as an MP3 file on my desktop. I choose a genre that I'm going to put this song under. You can have multiple charts with multiple genres, such as a year-end chart, different formats, Christmas chart, etc. In this case, we're using the CCM. If I had a new one, I would type it in at the bottom. Uh, I need a YouTube URL if I want the video, and I bookmarked that here, so I'll just copy that URL from YouTube. I don't need that tab any longer, and I'll paste that in here. If I want to be able to get credit for uh, selling it on Amazon, I can go and find the Amazon link. Of course, if you're an Amazon affiliate, you could use your special affiliate link, and then the same thing for iTunes, and if you're an iTunes affiliate. So you paste those links in there, and scroll on down. Now in this case, it's the first time I've used this particular album this song comes from, so I'm going to add that particular album to the database. If I already had it, I could try to search for it, and if it had a match, it would come up in the search. In this case, I will add the uh, album that the song comes from. And I did not get their website, so I will search for it here real quick. Grab that, close that tab, and paste that in there. Type in the name of the album. If it's different from the song, be sure you type in the album name. And then choose an album image. And I've saved one from the internet right there. Then I choose which chart this song is going to go in. And then save the song. Once that's finished, I can go back to the list and see all of the songs that I have in my database. We have an incomplete entry here, so I'll just erase that one. And then by default, my newest song comes in at the bottom of the chart at number 7. If I want to take a look at the albums I've uploaded in the past to see if I've already got one in, I can find that here. And if I want to look at my various charts, I can find that here. In this case, uh, the charts show a short code. This is the code that you place into your page to display the chart. So if I were to copy that code and go into Pages and go into our uh, Song Charts plugin page, you can see that I've got that chart shown right there with a maximum of 50 songs. If I paste it in, it looks just the same. If I only want to show 20 songs, I can just shorten that to 20, etc. And I'll update that page to take that. Going back into the settings, we'll go into Edit CSS. And in this area, you can customize any of the CSS. So for example, you want to make these colors different, or you want to make the uh, color of the text different, or a different font. You could simply, if you know CSS or know someone who does, customize any of the CSS entries that we use in the plugin so that we give you full control. Finally, you'll find this video under this Help button once you've purchased the plugin and need a refresher course. 
Now, before we take a look at the front end, let's also look at the uh, chart listings under List Charts. Here you can choose any of the charts that we have implemented and, and placed into our uh, pages by clicking on View Songs. And once in here, you can see our current list. Here's our number one song, two, three, four, five, etc. By default, the new songs go at the bottom. If we wanted that song to debut at the uh, number two position, for example, we could simply uh, grab it and uh, move it to the top. And you can see it automatically goes one, two, three, four, five. So you can move these songs and rearrange however you like and uh, move down and make the chart how you like. Once you're done, choose Update the Chart. If we refresh our page, we should see the changes reflected in the chart. And now we see that uh, Toby Mac is at number one. Uh, Kings and Queens debuts at number two, so there's a star for a debut. And then the other ones have moved accordingly. And that's pretty much it for the uh, plugin. It's pretty easy to use. We hope that if you have any questions, you'll contact us at Radio Servers.